Good morning, you guys. It's Friday, finally, so I get to wear normal clothes to work. However, I am bringing my gym clothes so that I can go to the gym right after work. And my hair looks atrocious today because I took a shower last night and went to sleep with it still wet, so now it's like all natural, curly, crazy. Um, but I don't really feel like straightening it because I'm going to the gym after work. And it's just going to get, like, sweaty and gross anyway, so I was like, whatever, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna let the fur flap fly, so. Yay, work is done, and I'm going to the gym. I'm just looking for my headphones. You always listen to your headphones. That's how that song goes, right? I really can't find, oh, I found them. Okay, great. So now that I have my headphones, I'm gonna head straight to the gym, because I'm not giving up. I was actually very, very discouraged this morning because I woke up and weighed myself, and, my keys outside of my car, yes. And I have gained three pounds. Um, and before you guys are quick to comment and say, oh, it's probably like muscle weight you're putting on. It's not, because I've only gone to the gym two times this week and I haven't really been eating that healthy. Like I've been eating healthier, but like not that healthy. So I'm a little bit discouraged um, because three pounds is a lot to gain. I'm just gonna try to do my best to go to the gym today, tomorrow, and possibly Sunday, depending on how the doggy fun fest goes. And just try to, try to feel like better. Try to feel like I'm actually losing weight. Oh, I need my keys. Look at me, I'm like all over the place. This is how, this is how dumb I am. I just realized that I locked my phone in my trunk. I'm gonna get my phone. All these noises, all the construction. I'm ready for this construction to be done with. Anyway, see you guys in a little bit. So, seriously? Like, this is a thing that they're selling as an ornament. And then I died laughing when I saw these. Because this one reminds me so much of Jen. Because every time I text Jen, we use this emoji, like, more than anything else. So it's kind of awesome. I would buy it and send it to her, but it's, like, glass. And I don't want it to break. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to break them. But look how many cool ornaments there are, though, this year. Like, that giraffe is awesome. Those dogs are awesome. Like, look at all of these things. Oh my god, the BFF bacon and eggs one. Oh, I love the bone one. Oh my god, a burrito, you guys. Look at the burrito. And there's like a whale and a passport, some sports ones. Oh my god. This is amazing. I love the pink one too. I'm gonna knock everything over. Oh, I want one of those for sure. Those are so cool. And let's see, they have a whole bunch of Star Wars and Avengers, and they even have that Inside Out movie that I still haven't seen. That's cool. Look at that awesome Game of Thrones ornament. They're so cool. They really do have a lot of options. Target's really good for this stuff because it's like pretty inexpensive. Like they range from like $4, $3 an ornament to like $10, so it's pretty good. Tim and Jen, you guys have to come here and get these. They're so cute. So the theme this year is going to be pastels because they have a ton of these pastel ornaments over there. Like, I like the woodsy outdoors one, but I don't ever buy ceramic or glass ornaments because I'm too afraid of them breaking. But they have like all of these crazy colored ones. And then the red themed ones, which I always buy those. Like every year they come out with new plaid ones, so I think I'll have about eight or nine this year now. But this is like apparently the new thing. It's like pastel colors are like where it's at now. So they're pretty, I just don't think I'd want a pastel tree. Like see, they have even more pastel ones here. They're not even fully done. I mean, this is gonna be covered in stuff. That, I'm assuming, is gonna be covered in stuff. Which, by the way, today I found out, oh my god, I want this, actually. Look at this, like, tiny little, reminds me of the Charlie Brown tree. They have trees, apparently, that are half trees. So if you have an apartment, you buy, like, only half a tree. However, it's still just as expensive as buying, like, a full tree. I just found out about these things and I was like, what? That sounds crazy. I don't even see that they have any set up here. They have full trees here. I'm getting in a ton of these mini trees now and they're super affordable. $8 for a mini tree. Like I might do this just for like a counter. And then even the ornaments are super, like look, $2 for a huge thing of garland, $3 for a pack of ornaments. Like that's, that's actually really affordable. And then they even have these little miniature tree skirts for the same kind, $8, so. 
they have really cute things like that is so cool but I feel like I could make that maybe uh, it might actually cost the same amount yeah. and then they have this crazy oh, Santa see. phone okay that could get real irritating real fast this is cool though like I like this light where's the button there's a button it says try me I light up cool I like it I like that little one too and those candles all this stuff is really cute I love <laughs> Christmas just as much as I love Halloween so this is difficult for me I'm trying not to buy because even Ian thinks it's ridiculous that people start decorating so early but I keep trying to explain to him that like we are moving at like the worst time so I won't even get to like have my decorations out for like a while to enjoy we literally move into our apartment on the 15th of December that gives us 10 days before Christmas to like celebrate Christmas, like experience it and enjoy it. However, we're gonna be moving in on the 15th. Our stuff is gonna be in boxes. How are we supposed to be unpacked and enjoying Christmas by Christmas? So I tried to explain to him that I wanna experience some decorations before then because I feel like I'm not gonna have a chance to this year, so. Oh my gosh, and this reindeer, and look at all the birdies. I love everything. But especially you, Mr. Fox, you're my favorite. They had a fox that was kind of similar out for like the fall season, except he didn't have a hat on, so I might get him, even though I know I don't need him. He's really, really handsome and I love him. Yeah, this sign is really cute too, you guys. Look at this. So you move his nose around to say how many days till Christmas. I love it. I want that too. I want all of these things. Like, look at every single thing. All of it. I need all of these light up signs, every single one. Even the signs that don't line up, I just need everything. Oh, this makes me wish I was having a Christmas party. <laughs> but after uh, having a Halloween party, the last thing I want to do right now is <laughs> do that again. Oh, what cute look. Oh, drink scarves. <gasps> oh my god, ugly sweater contest. This is so cute. I actually want to get these just to have them because they're so freaking cute. But I don't need any of this. Although I just scanned like my Target app and there's like a 20% off coupon for everything that's related to the holidays. Oh my god, look at the Darth Vader right now though. <laughs> Stop it. I am gonna get some holiday cards because I've been collecting addresses for the past couple weeks um, to start sending out Christmas cards early because we're moving so I want to get them sent out early this year so I will be buying some packs of cards. This one's home now. <laughs> <laughs> Ian's home, and I am gonna go to sleep. So is he, but it's really late. It's like past midnight and I'm exhausted, so I still have to take a shower because I haven't changed out of my gym clothes. Yay! So I'm gonna go do that, but I will see you guys tomorrow on Saturday. Peace out, Trouts.